Hey YouTube, this is Quarash1990, and today I have a Jihad like starter box opening. I was able to find one of these on eBay for really cheap, actually kind of close to the price that's on the box there. And I think this is legit all sealed and authentic and everything. This is one of the early games from Wizards of the Coast, uh, Richard Garfield. It's uh, also known as Vampire of the Internal Struggle. I don't really know much of anything beyond that for this game. I, uh... Randomly this found this like lot of just cards on eBay and I mainly bought it for the like large amount of Star Trek CC or Star Wars CCG cards in it. And it, it had an open box of Jihad plus two open boxes of Rage CCG, which I also found kind of interesting. And then I found Team Covenant's video that they they did like a whole stream for Vampire the Internal Struggle. Really good stream by the way. I was able to kind of figure out the rules of the game just through watching that. And I love old, classic, like, fantasy-esque, I know this is more like New Age, but just like really old school style art, all hand-painted stuff, like what Magic used to be before what it is now. And this game just, it feels like that for me. So I figured I would uh, get a box of this and open it on my channel if I can peel this, like, tab. It's Without destroying the box. I plan on, there we go. I plan on keeping the box for sure. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd just do an opening of this on my channel. Uh, maybe once I figure out how to play the game a little bit better. More than what I do now. Maybe I'll do like a deck tech or something. Who knows. And yeah, it does look like it's actually sealed. This is in a shrink wrap as well. Definitely want to keep the box though. Now, is there any way to open this without just mutilating everything inside? Okay, cool. I can just kind of peel it and go from there. And I love these, like, old rule books that these games used to do in these uh, these old card games. I have a, quite a collection of them from all the other games that I collect. Holy crap, dude. Like, come on. No. I am really trying not to damage these, like, old cards. And I have no idea what the layout is for anything on this. I don't know what's rare or common or not. I didn't really do any research because I didn't want to spoil any of this. And this is the Jihad ones. Um, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. The newer ones, they changed the name of the game due to this being what it is. And it's they changed it to Vampire the Internal Struggle. So I'm just going to just go from there. I wonder if these top cards are rares. I highly doubt it. Maybe like uncommons or something. Dude, this like old Ron Spencer artwork. Look at that. Ah, gosh, man, this guy was on another level back in the day. When you get one of these cool rule books, it's actually pretty thick, but this game from what I saw is pretty straightforward. Let's mix these all together. Some of these already have like this already have. That I don't, that I do. This like, so stylized. Love it. And it's like a random sport bike in a game with vampires. <laughs> Gosh, so that. I'm putting that aside. That, that artwork is too cool not to display. Or just something like this. Gosh, even that. Look at that. I have no idea what this card does. Like, yeah, plus one stealth makes it easier for things to hit. This too, just like, um... With old Middle Earth CCG, same thing. And then like Mark Teton, or Tedden, Teton. I don't know, I met the dude in person. I'm also an artist and I, I drew um, Ju Zam Jin on a playmat. <laughs> and him and I had a good like hour long discussion about the, of like him coming up with that, the artwork for that card and all this other cool stuff. And he is one of my all time favorite artists, even just out of like uh, CCG stuff. Just in general. And the dude is just, he's such a cool guy in person too. So nice. And this, God, I love these character cards. Like Quentin Hoover. I think he passed away not too long ago. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Super sad. But it's, I, whoa. <laughs> More Mark Tiedon. I just, I can't get over these old cards. Like this was actually one I was wanting. Yeah, sure, that guy too, I guess. Like I have that. I have her. I really like the artwork on this as well. Same with that. All of these. This game, I even have this guy too. This game, though, doesn't have anything. I There's nothing I don't like about it. It's like, gosh, look at that. You know what? You go with the 
Ron Spencer stack too. Every bit of this, gosh, these cards, they're just, they feel so old, but like so new at the same time. Just like very crisp. These are going straight in the sleeves after this video, by the way. In fact, my hands are getting a little sweaty just holding these because I'm, I'm kind of excited for this. This artwork today is not like what it used to be back in the early 90s. The early 90s, for everything, for artwork, for film, it was just, it was on another level. Like, look at that. I and mean, yeah, of course it's Martin. You're going to that pile too. And I just, maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> I miss how things used to be. And I'm sure people that are older than me could say the same about my generation too, but I just, I, I can't get over it. And there's a, a new game that's coming out on Kickstarter called Sorcery, and the artwork for that game, like this random laptop, really weird looking laptop, but that game, I backed it purely for the, the artwork alone, but uh, Douglas Schuler artwork, great stuff. Very reminiscent of like old magic. In this, I don't know, what is he throwing, like a manhole? Yeah, sewer lid. Short-term investments. Peace treaty, conditioning. It's just, I was debating on, because I got like a booster box and some starter decks. I wasn't going to open the starter decks because people have already done that. Maybe I'll open the, the booster box on this channel. I kind of want to keep this channel just dead card games. So I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But uh, yeah, love it. Love the artwork. You can tell everything on here is hand painted with like gouache or like watercolor. It's, man, this is so good. All of this is so good. I have to say, I'm quite happy with uh, this purchase. I will probably be buying more stuff from this. I'll maybe see if I can get a booster box, but it's got to be from like the original set. No guarantees on that. Just all of this is so good. Master gain a pool. Oh, it's, it's like it's like gain a life, essentially. A life and a resource, from what I understand. But, um, yeah, all of these cards, they're all great. Let's look at the portraits again. I kind of went through that a little fast, maybe because I have no clue what I'm looking at. It's like vampire, like, under the bed. <laughs> I think he's coming out of, like, a sewer crate. But, uh, either way, his name's Duck. This guy's name is Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Or just, just Nick. <laughs> I'm not going to go over that. See, like, more Mark Teton. Just some punk dude with a skateboard and a cigarette. Mm, all right. This, though, too. Like, Richard Kane Ferguson. Gosh, this dude's art is amazing. He does, he does quite a few cards for this. And Rage, too, from what I was noticing. You know what? You deserve a spot out as well. So does that guy actually need that. Just like that, too. Like, Larry McDougal. Mac Duggle. I really hope I'm saying that name right. I don't know what it is about this art. I really like this art. And I think the card's actually pretty decent, too. It's like this double damage, basically, for that, too. Very captivating. Jazz Wentworth. Interesting. This, too. Like, all of it. I am actually needing that, too. I love the, the framing on this type, whatever vampires these guys are. Ignatus. Hmm, interesting. Red Riding Hood kind of a look. Movement of the mind. Gosh, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I'm very happy. Wanted to go through all this stuff twice. Because, again, the video kind of went by short. So, I don't know. People that are watching this, are these... Do, do these decks even come with rares? Like, what's, what's rare, what's not? These were the ones that were, like, kind of separated on their own. I would imagine some of the Master Cards are. Because they're... Some of them are pretty powerful... This one you can play out of turn, so that's probably a rare just for just just because you can play it whenever. Tragic Love Affair, that kind of sounds like a rare. Sport bike better be a rare. I mean sport bike. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, like I said, for like the third time, I am very happy I bought this. Uh probably expect more Jihad Vampire the Internal Turtle Struggle stuff on my channel. I am Going to be posting some Terminator deck lists. I finally figured out what I'm doing. So I'll be posting those after I post this video. I'll probably try and upload the, this video the day I'm doing this opening. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I'm honestly surprised I even have 80 subscribers. I know it doesn't really sound like a whole lot. But there are 80 people out there tolerating my voice. My crappy phone with my camera. And all this other nonsense. 
So thank you all for subscribing and watching. And please continue for more, you know, dead card game coverage. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.